Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you how to customize your start menu in Windows 10. So we're going to show you how to get rid of these annoying tiles and just keep what's important to you right there and resizing and, and just how to make this uh, more efficient for what you use your computer for. So uh, first thing you want to do is just right click on a tile and let's say you don't want movies and TVs here. If you right click, click on um, where we go unpin from start that just takes it out that simple so first I'm gonna go through and just unpin some of the things that are not that important to me I'm gonna keep that there for now um, news sort of like the news I'm gonna keep that there one note don't care unpin office unpin and let's see here Twitter get rid of that candy crush get rid of that okay so and let's do that too. All right, so now we're left with just a couple of things here, and now we can actually customize this to what we want to be here. So one other thing you can do, if you just put your mouse in one of these little blank spots right here, um, well, basically, uh, let's start dragging different things that we want to be up here. So, uh, for example, money, um, iHeartRadio, I don't want that either. I'm gonna unpin from start to put my calendar up here. Um, Microsoft Edge, which is just your newer version of Internet Explorer. Uh, Flipboard, I'm actually going to just unpin that. Now you do have an option to, to resize. So maybe you do want something to be there, but you don't want it to take up so much space. So we can resize it. For example, this is a Photos tab right here. If I right click, I can go resize. I can go to small, so now it's there, but it, it sort of has a smaller spot. doesn't take up as much space. So even with this, for example, you've got options to make it really large, make it a big spot. Maybe you want to open it up and be able to see the news and what's big and what's not big, or you want it to be small. So that's sort of how you have fun with that. Now, uh, we can also drag programs that are over here. So I can drag Chrome there, for example. I can also go all apps. And now I can go through here and say, hey, what apps do I use the most? And obviously, you may want to put that on this menu. So like calculator, I may want to put that over there. Okay. And uh, on one of my other computers, I, I made a nice little row of important apps. But I made them nice and small. Let me show you what I did. So just um, I'm going to right click. I'm going to resize this to small. Calendar, same thing, small. Because these are important, but I, I don't know if I'm going to use these a lot, but I do want them there. The store, I'm going to tell you why you want that to be there, so let's keep that. And then, let's see, I'm going to drag this down here, move my photos up. And as you can see, you can really have fun with this and kind of, you could make little designs, but I sort of just like having, you know, you got one row up here, really important stuff, and then you have a smaller row of you know apps that you may not use as often but you still want them to be there Cortana I'm gonna get rid of that for now um, let's see edge I'm gonna resize that make that small too um, weather oh. let's resize that to be small so now we've got a sort of a different view here and again, I like to have um, Microsoft Word, I think, like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, like those are important programs you probably would use a lot. So I'm going to go down and look for Word in here. Let's see, or probably under Microsoft, right? Because it starts with M. So I guess I was wrong. I guess it's not under either of those. Well, either way, you're going to go through this list and you're going to find the programs that you use the most. And we're going to just make a spot for them right here so then this list will only reflect the things that you're actually using versus just junk so another program I use a lot is Photoshop so I'm going to grab this Photoshop and just drop that right there probably bring the money section down a little bit lower and I'll do one more program that I use a lot definitely use uh, Google Chrome a lot and we'll just filter through here so some of you guys may want to put Skype there. For those of you that do a lot of uh, video chatting, that's another good one right there. Um, so, you you know, also just with mail as well, if you set that up, 
you know you can see a snapshot of any important emails I don't use this a lot I think I only use it for my Microsoft email just because I have a lot of accounts and there's a different way that I manage that but uh, either way this is a really cool way to just uh, keep yourself organized and have all the important things that you use on a daily basis uh, on this screen because I think this is you know it works better if it's efficient so um, Firefox that's what I was trying to find so we can go ahead and grab our Firefox here so these are two different browsers I use and this is a Photoshop program and now we still have these down here but again you may say you know what I want these to be smaller I just want it to look clean so we'll go medium and then we'll go medium as well and that's it so now you have a nice neater look and again you can always drag other things uh, from here and move it there if you do want to fill it up but this way you get to control what's there and it just makes things neater and easier for you and um, yeah that's been how to customize your task menu or your task bar uh, in Windows 10 and we've got a lot of other really fun videos coming up on Windows 10 just want to definitely help you guys use it to the max and have fun with it. Oh, there's our Microsoft Word. I don't know where those were hiding. These were two I wanted to put over here. Let me drag these really quick. We'll drag Excel right there. And this is another one, Adobe Premiere. So again, these are six programs I use on a daily basis. So now I can literally just hit start. There they are. Click it, open it, I'm done. As you can see at the bottom here, I also have programs that are pinned as well this is another way to sort of get to the things you use the most really quickly so just to show you um, I can open up Firefox for example and when you open a program it creates a little tab down here in your uh, task bar um, so if I right click on it and I click on um, so it's pinned right now but basically you're gonna have an option here that says pin to start menu in fact, let's find another one. Let's just do this one right here. So Camtasia. If I right click on here, I can pin this to the program, pin it to the start bar, and, or the task bar. Sorry, Ooh, can't speak today. Pin it here, and now, even when I close this program, it's still going to be down here. So that also allows you to quickly open up those programs you use a lot. And as you can see, I have a bunch. I have my scanner for my computer. I have Word, I have Paint. Um, just because it's quicker to just be able to go down and click versus, you know, having to search the program, find it, yada, yada, yada. So you have to find the way that's going to be best for you. But hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Make sure you also subscribe to HG Tech videos and have a good one.